greetings as well as salutations all my YouTubians, Odysians, Slay and Saiyans, Cobra Kai's, and my pumpkins who be smashing. I am Asherella the original. This is my channel, Original Asherella. And if my outfit, my Wednesday Adams inspired outfit, did not already give it away, we're going to be talking about Wednesday, the newest Netflix slash Tim Burton creation. Now, not identical to Wednesday here, but definitely Wednesday inspired. Kind of like Asherella as Wednesday. Um, but that is just for my entertainment. <laughs> um, okay, so Wednesday, the new Netflix series, it's set to come out later this year. You know, my black sparkly heart loves all things spooky and dark. And the Addams Family has never been any exception to that. I love the 60s sitcom. I love, of course, I love the 90s movies. Like, of course, I love the 90s movies. It is everything great about the 90s um and they're amazing movies like they are some of my favorite movies of all time and john astin as gomez adams carolyn jones as morticia in the 60s were amazing characters angelica houston Roel julia christina ricci christopher lloyd you know the whole cast of the 90s movies like they you know just made these characters beloved you know and that's weird because you know it's the adams family and they're you know, dark and spooky and counterculture and not normal. And, you know, that is one of the things that makes them so, like, beloved, I think. But um, anyway, this new version of The Addams Family focuses more specifically on Wednesday. Um, the other, the rest of the family is in it, but, you know, Wednesday is the main character. And this is a Tim Burton, you know, creation. There are very few directors that I would trust with something like The Addams Family to continue to do it justice from, you know, these huge shoes to fill from the sitcom, from the 90s movies. And I definitely think Tim Burton is one of those ca that can accomplish it. Um, you know, as stereotypical or, you know, obvious as it sounds, I, like, I love Tim Burton stuff, you know. Um, I don't have a Jack Skellington tattoo and I don't have like my hair dyed black and that kind of thing but i do love me some tim burton he's so unique and so original and you know tim burton stuff has always like really appealed to me again black sparkly heart and i'm really really excited to see like how this new you know version and adaptation of the adams family is going to shake out now all that being said there has been a little bit of controversy recently regarding the new adams family um well i'll get to that in just a second but um we're gonna be talking about that a lot that's kind of what this video is gonna surround and it has nothing to do with wednesday it has nothing to do with tim burton it has to do with the casting of gomez adams now john astin was an amazing gomez in the 60s Roel julia was an amazing gomez in the 90s it's like he took what john astin did with gomez and just built on that and they are such 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 huge shoes to fill you know, like any actor is going to, you know, you know, have to take that in, into consideration when taking on this role. But there has been a little bit of backlash about that. Um, and that's what we're going to be talking about. I've got an article that kind of unpacks all of that. And we're going to get into all of that in just one second. But before I do, you know what to do. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are watching on YouTube. If you are watching on Odyssey, make sure you follow. You can gently caress the notification bell on either platform so you know every time I upload a video. You can leave me a like, you can leave me a comment, you can follow me on my social things. I have the Insta thing and I have the Twitter thing. Okay, so as I mentioned, you know, the real talk about the new Wednesday series right now is this backlash because of the casting of Gomez Adams. Now, if you don't know, it is Luis Guzman um, who has been cast as the new Gomez. Um, you know, he looks much different than Sean Astin and Roel Julia. But what a lot of people don't know is that there was like a comic strip that the Adams Family is based on back. It started like back in the 30s. And a lot of people think that the origin of the Addams Family is the 60s sitcom, but that is not the case. It was based on this comic strip from the 30s, and Gomez was not like this slender, lanky guy. He was this kind of short, thick, stocky guy, much like, you know, Pugsley has always been, you know, um, like portrayed as kind of a little chunk. Well, Gomez was as well originally. 
So the new casting of Gomez definitely, you know, falls back more to the original Gomez Adams, but I think people just like loved John Aston and Roll Julia so much. They're having a hard time, you know, accepting Gomez as anything other than. But, you know, it that is more true to what the you know, original Gomez looked like. And there was the animated Adams Family that came out a couple years ago. And honestly, I hated the way the animation looked and I didn't watch the movies. But the Gomez in that was like the shorter, stockier version of Gomez also. But okay, so I've got this article. I'll link it down below. Okay, title, Wednesday, what is the controversy surrounding Luis Guzman? After the release uh, of the new trailer for Wednesday, several future viewers of the series showed their dissatisfaction with Luis Guzman for his role. Here we tell you everything you need to know about the controversy surrounding the actor. Wednesday is the new series inspired by Dark and Spooky Adam's Family. The production created by Tim Burton and Netflix will arrive on the platform this year, but the exact date is not yet known. The new edition is the perfect opportunity for the director to finally put his stamp on the franchise as he was going to be in charge of the 1991 film. But for certain reasons, it was not concluded. Now, that is interesting. I had heard that before at some point that Tim Burton was originally supposed to direct the 90s films. And I'm sure they would have been great, but like, quite honestly, I'm glad he didn't because I love them how they are now. And would they be as, you know, beloved and iconic? I don't know. Um, but again, I am very excited to see Tim Burton's version of The Addams Family. Yesterday afternoon, they released the new teaser of what will be the eight episode series and one of the most important factors, such as the cast, has been revealed. Jenna Ortega will be the protagonist of the story playing Wednesday Addams, while Catherine Zeta-Jones, Luis Guzman, and Isaac Ordonez will be Morticia Gomez and Pugsley Adams. Van Vanity Fair has revealed what the actors of the quartet will look like in their roles and has caused quite stir as one of the leads didn't look the way some wanted him to. Using, used to seeing the classic Gomez look of Roll Julia and John Aston, haters have mercilessly, mercilessly <laughs> attacked Luis Guzman for his appearance in the series. Since the, since the first images appeared, the redesign of the character has caused a mix of reviews. Several compared Guzman to the look of Julian Aston had in their respective roles in the 90s movie and the 60s series due to the fact that the Narcos act actor has a stockier appearance. Gomez Adams has always had lack of elegance, something completely different from what we have seen in previous productions. No adaptation has ever resembled the original 1930s character as much as Luis Guzman is doing in Burton's series. See, that's what I'm saying. It's like people are hating because, you know, he doesn't look like um, John Astan or Roll Julia, but he looks like the original, like the very original content that Gomez Adams is based on. Most comments on social have criticized the actor for not having a slender figure or the height of the previous protagonist. He has even been told that he was not sensual enough to play the role of the patriarch of the family. So far, Luis has not made any statements, but several artists and fans have already come to his defense. So, that is what, uh, you know, is going on with that. But, like, I am so excited about this, and I am really interested to see how he portrays Gomez. You know, I have not, I've honestly not been disappointed with the Gomez up to this point. So hopefully Luis will just carry on the tradition of awesome Gomez Adams. And I really hope that that is the case. Um, I am very excited to watch Wednesday if I haven't said that probably like half a dozen times already. But um, I don't know, what do you guys think about the new Wednesday? Are you excited to watch it? Do you have any feelings about the Addams Family in general? Let me know all that down in the comments below. How do you feel about Kyler and Zeta-Jones playing Morticia? I don't think that's a bad casting choice at all. Now, Angelica Houston, total, like, perfect Mortician. And Carolyn Jones and Angelica Houston, they look nothing alike. But they're both amazing Morticias. I don't know. Maybe I just love the Adams Family. It's one of those things that whatever you do, I'm not going to dislike it. That being said, I did really not hated the animation style of the most recent animated Adams Family that came out. I know I just said that like a bit ago, but like, oh, it was not aesthetically pleasing at all. And I just did not like it. So I didn't even watch the movie. But that's neither here nor there. Um, 
let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comments below. I am Asherella, the original. This is my channel, Original Asherella. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe. If you're watching on Odyssey, follow. You can gently press the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. You can leave me a like. You can leave me a comment. You can follow me on my social things, the Insta thing and the Twitter thing. And uh, always tap in, never tap out, and don't forget to keep on slaying like a saiyan.